Um, so I'm going to uh, read a little bit from the book. But before I do that, I just wanted to say this was an experience of a lifetime for me to be able to go out on the road with people like Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, Joni Mitchell, Roger McGuinn, and be able to document this tour in all its rawness and see these people as they really are. I mean, people who read this say, I've never heard Bob Dylan talk like that, like a normal person. <laughs> this is really an intimate gl glimpse at all these people and, and the tour. And um, I uh, hope you enjoy it. This is, uh, just to give you a little setup, this is from the beginning of the book. To begin at the beginning, you'd have to go back to the old folky days of the village, or maybe just the set of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, or maybe even the old auditorium of Hibbing High. Who knows where Dylan first got the idea, really decided that he wanted to go out and do what it is that he does so well, namely tell the tribe the news of the hour. Depending on who you speak to, you get a hundred different versions of how the Rolling Thunder Review idea was crystallized. Some say it was Bobby Newworth's pet project, a guerrilla attack on the hamlets of middle America. Others credit rambling Jack Elliott with the original idea. Still others believe it was Bob's all along, that he was only waiting for the right time and people. No matter, it happened, with a vengeance. Guitar sounds filled the air, Scarlet's haunting gypsy violin presiding over the clatter in hot, musky gyms and clean stainless steel auditoriums. The Rolling Thunder Review was a caravan of gypsies, hobos, trapeze artists, lonesome guitar stranglers, and spiritual green berets who came into your town for your daughters and left with your minds. They took to the road in the fall of 1975. A weird caress. Dylan, Baez, Mitchell, Elliot, Newworth, McGuinn, Ronson, Blakely, Ginsburg. It went on and on, and you'll meet them all here sooner or later. And they barnstormed for six weeks, shaking up the great northeast, making a quick foray over the border into the land of snow. Then, with a bang at Madison Square Garden, playing to 20,000 people in a benefit for Reuben Hurricane Carter, it was over at least until Dylan decides to round up the troops, pack up the guitars, and head your way again. <laughs> 